Hi, Mariana with Fresh Pair of Eyes. How are you guys? Very Good. well. How are you? I'm awesome. So do you think your characters have ever actually cared about the Garland family? So Tori, with you, specifically with Oliver and Jasmine, with you with Cow Cow, or how, has it always been business? Ooh. I do believe that there is a very strong bond the judge and uh, Jack have going back to when they were roommates in college and the friendship lasts 50 years. And I would say that the sense they have of being loyal to each other is the tragedy is that when I'm asked to do something for the judge and I do something for the judge, I expect something in return. And he's, I think, very disappointed to find out that I place what I need above my loyalty to him. Mm -hmm. As What for about you, Kevin? oh yeah, as for Maxine, I think um, I think you can mix business with pleasure. I think, yeah, that's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, there's, <laughs> you have a job to do. and I got a job to do. You know. <laughs> I will say, Tori, I feel like it was the loyalty, yes, but I feel like there should have been a conversation because he. It's a big ask. I feel like, of course, there was going to be a bit of a quid pro quo in the Yes. situation. Then you're on my side. I agree. There should be <laughs> a quid pro quo. there should have been at least a, oh, hey, can Yeah. we talk about something? Yeah. Do you... I mean, I think the judge thinks he knows Jack really well. And then he finds out exactly more about how Jack has been living when he's not around the judge. So the judge has got a nasty surprise, you might say. But I, that's Jack's, that's how he rolls, you know. He expects, he expects payment in kind. Yes. Do you think the Garlands are a bit too trusting of you guys or think maybe a little too highly of themselves that people kind of think that others are always in service to them? Ooh, that's such an interesting question. Very good question. That's a very Yeah. good question. Do you know what? I think that the Garlands are like every other person um, and that we always kind of, I don't know about you, but I kind of always assume that whenever someone comes into my life, they're coming in to hopefully add to it or to be good. And so they're just operating on that very basic level of like, no one's here to harm me. Like, you know, we're all just trying to be good human beings and sometimes it works out for them. And sometimes it does not. Yeah, and they're they're each each one of them is very different from the other. So Mm -hmm. I'd say Talcott is about the most trusting and naive of the bunch, and Addison is the most stonewalling and personally uh, aloof uh, of the bunch. And Maxine is sort of the uh, Or the wild card running around. oh, Mariah, do you mean? I'm sorry, Oh, Mariah. Mariah, yeah. I'm Oh, sorry. Mariah. Yeah, I'm No, sitting with. I honestly, if I can say this, I mean, we're on the record. It's a little off the record. Yeah. Mariah is my favorite. Yeah. Because Why she's is Mariah your favorite? Mariah is my favorite because she's she's business. She is super smart. She has that like, I don't know, I, I call it an Olivia Pope walk, but it's not that. She had, you know, she has the It's power. the Bob. I love, yes, and the Bob. And I love watching that on screen. And Tiffany Mack is an incredible actor, and I'm so excited for everyone to see her do this. I mean, personally, that's that's my favorite. Maxine's favorite is Talcott, but Jasmine's There we favorite go. is Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> do you think, speaking of Mariah, do you think she's probably the Garland who would be less easily swayed by you two, as in like there would never be an arrangement with Mariah? <laughs> Yes, that's why I avoid her at all costs. Yeah, no doubt about <laughs> it, of you know, course. and I love the way she kind of comes into her own, you know, she starts as an intrepid uh, investigative reporter, Mm becomes -hmm. a stay-at-home mom and then breaks out of that role and comes back into her reporter personality. And uh, I'm very wary of her. Uh, Jack is always on his guard and uh, does his best to intimidate her uh, and insinuate his way into getting what he wants from her, but she never complies.
be as cool and powerful and fast and funny and charming and also very like about her business. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I would love to be Maxine any day. You wouldn't even have to pay me. I would do it. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think you have that quality? Oh, um, to, to be Maxine? Yes. Oh, um, probably because I'm a Capricorn. Um, me too. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn. I, I can't be. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, but like, I um, I admire her strength. I admire her uh, vulnerability, and I also admire her um, like want to get her objective at any means necessary. I think that a driven woman is an incredible woman. Um, I'm inspired. That's why I like Mariah so much because she's so driven. Uh, so yeah, that's probably why I would want to be Maxine. Also, um, she's fast. Like uh, you're gonna see in episodes upcoming, but you're gonna be like, "Wow, she is she is fast." <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I can't wait to talk to you guys about this again and future projects. Congratulations.